What's going on guys? This is me Mehdi Shakil and you are watching SS Tech Tutorial. And guys in this video I am going to show you that how you can create your very own movie server at home. Assume that you are hosted your movies on your computer and you can watch all of these movies from any device connected to your network. In this video I am going to show you how you can set up your computer as a movie server. So further ado, let's get started. But before that, if you're new to this channel, then please do subscribe to this YouTube channel. And if you have already subscribed, then thank you so much. Okay, guys, now you can see my computer screen. Now, if I open my file explorer, then go to this PC and into this entertainment e drive, I have a couple of movies. Now, I want to convert this partition into a movie server so that I can access and watch all of these movies from the internet over the network. So now let me show you how you can create your personal movie server at home so that you can keep all of your movies into a partition or a drive and can watch all of these movies over internet. So let's do it. So first of all, open up your browser and here you need to download a free open source OTT platform software named Jellyfin. Type here on Google Jellyfin. Then go to this website jellyfin.org. Then from here click on download now. Then from here select windows. Here I am using windows operating system. That's why I am going to select the windows. If you use other operating system like Linux, Mac OS or Docker, you can use all of them. But I am going to use the windows one. So I am going to click on windows. And from here I am going to click on this download button. And it will take you to this page. Now from here I am going to download this one. Jellyfin 10.8.9 Windows x64bit.exe this installer click on it and it will start downloading it's gonna take some time depend on your computer internet connection speed so you have to wait until the downloading has been completed okay guys now downloading has been completed now click on show in this folder and here you can see the installer double click on it and install this Jellyfin on your Windows computer just normally click on next, I agree, next, 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 install. And it should install the Jellyfin server on your Windows computer. It will take some time, so you have to wait until the installation has been completed. Then click on this close button. Then click on start and click on Jellyfin. Now after that, again click on start and search for CMD. Then open it. And here you need to type ipconfig slash all. And it should give you your device IP address. In my case, this computer IP address is 192.168.0.100. Keep note of this IP address. Now open up a browser and visit to 192.168.0.100 colon 8096. And it should take you to this page. I had already created an account. So it's not going to ask me for sign up, but for the first time, it will ask you to sign up an account and create an account. So I'm going to log in to my Zellyfin account. Then I'm going to click on sign in. And here you can see I have seen all of my movies, what I have into this directory, this e drive. But you will not get this option. So to add all the movies into your Zellyfin server, click on this hamburger icon, then go to settings, then scroll down, then go to dashboard. Then go to libraries, then click on add media library. Then from here, click on this drop down menu and select the content type. In this case, movies, then scroll down, then click on folders. And here you will see all of your computer partition. In my case, I have all the movies into this E partition or E drive. So I'm going to select it. Then I'm going to click on OK. Then again, OK. And it should add all the movies what you have on your partition. Then go back to home. And after that, you will see all of your movies here are listed. Now, if I click on any movies, let's say this one, you can see all the details about these movies. Now, to play this movie, just click here and it should start playing the movies. Now, let me show you how you can access this web panel or movies from other devices. In this case, I am going to use my mobile phone. Now, you can see my mobile phone screen. Now I am going to show you how you can access all of these movies over the internet or over your network. So open up your browser and again visit to your computer IP address. In my case 192.168.0.100 then give the port number 8096. 
and you will get all of your movies are listed here. If you didn't sign in into your mobile phone browser, it will ask you to sign in. Just normally use the credential to sign in to your Jellyfin account and you will get all of the movies. Now to play any of these movies, just tap on the movie banner, then tap on this play button and it should start playing on your mobile phone. Also, there is an Android application from Jellyfin. If you want, you can use that application too. So open up Play Store on your mobile phone and search for Jellyfin. Then you will get the Jellyfin official application. Install this application on your mobile phone, then tap on open. Then here you need to type the server. So just simply type here 192.168.0.100 colon 8096. Then click on connect. Then it will ask you for sign in. So sign in to your account and it will sign in to your Jellyfin server. And now you can easily access all of your movies over the network and using your Android phone. So guys, that's all for today. I hope you like this video. If you really like this video and enjoyed this video, then please give it a big thumbs up and share this video with your friends. And guys, if you're new to this channel, then please do subscribe to this YouTube channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to get all the latest upcoming video tutorial notification. I'm Medi Shakil. You are watching Instagram tutorial and I'm signing out.